So, good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to continue our today's conference main topic, the harvest of 2020. And uh, as my workmates told you about the harvest of grains in Ukraine and Russia, I want to present you the forecast by APK Inform analysts of grain production in Kazakhstan this year. So, to begin with, we'd like to pay attention to the main factors which will influence and form the crops in Kazakhstan this year. They are, at first, diversification of the production in favor of the technical crops, the sowing campaign during quarantine, export regulation and, of course, demand on wheat from local markets. Well, beginning with our first factor. In this year, Kazakhstan is keeping on the diversification of the sowing areas favoring the oil seeds and transferring to the production of the high profitable crops. At the same time, due to the rather high demand on wheat from the local markets, the areas under the crop for the last three seasons remain rather stable, as you can see in my slide. Thus, the increase of the areas under technical and feed crops form the total rise of the sowing areas. Here is wheat and barley occupy 60% of the total areas in the country. However, this spring sowing campaign met unexpected challenge like COVID-19 pandemic. But uh, according to the Ministry of Agriculture, the spring sowing campaign is proceeding smoothly. In some cases, the farmers reported any difficulties with crossing, crossing the block post. But in uh, order to resolve this problem, the Ministry of Agriculture has developed the unified procedure for the movement of farmers. In particular, at the blog post, both the paper documents and the electronic permissions must be considered. So, speaking of grains, in particular, we can see that um, the production of grain in Kazakhstan is concentrated in three oblasts, Akmola, Kostanai and North Kazakhstan. These three oblasts occupy 80% of land for wheat and 65% for barley. So, speaking of wheat and taking into account the forecast of areas and yield, the production of wheat in this season is expected to reach 12.2 million tons, which is 6% higher than in current season result. So, speaking of barley, in um, this year the planting areas is key regions can decline, which at the same time can be compensated by forecast increase of yield. However, in this year the production of barley is forecasted at 4.1 million tons, which is 8% higher than in previous result. So, the production of barley in Kazakhstan is stimulated by two factors. At first, of course, diversification program and the strong demand of barley from the global market, including China. So, to sum up all the information, and uh, as you can see in my last slide, the total production of grain in 2020 is expected at 18.4 million tons, which is 6% higher as opposite to previous year. But, of course, this forecast is preliminary because weather can bring drastic change, like, for example, it was last year, unfortunately. Still, the higher yield expected this year will compensate the reduction of the areas. Such combination this year will definitely meet our observation. 
So, uh, thank you for your attention and continue to my presentation of the next green season in Kazakhstan and to give you better idea about the market and about the current situation and trading, I am honored to introduce you Alexander Malov, the General Director of VKZ Agro Kazakhstan. Number so according to the uh, supply and demand in this season, uh, it's still forecast because our season is uh, going on until end of August. So, but in general, uh, total export, we expect to have seven, uh, 6.5 million, including wheat flour. Uh, so for the last uh, three months, we expect around 1.7 million tons, uh, also including wheat flour. Uh, so it's not big numbers, but for Kazakhstan, it's uh, quite well uh, done in this season. Uh, most of all, the production was low, but uh, because of quite a significant import from Russia, it's 1.5 million ton. Uh, our numbers looks very uh, good according to the Central Asia market. Uh, import was done one, uh, not the real uh, statistic numbers uh, because uh, uh, a lot of tracks uh, coming from Russia unofficially, it, uh, will, it's helping to improve uh, local statistic numbers. We are just uh, trying to do a huge job with Grain Union against that because we are not agree that unofficially uh, some tracks are going between Russia and Kazakhstan because we are staying in Grain Union, uh, or not Grain Union, uh, uh, Custom Union together with Russia. Uh, but uh, a lot of job uh, and supporting now uh, from Grain Union, from Ministry of Agriculture, we have some projects how to solve it. So, and our forecast for the new season, we expect that according to SDA, we have 2 million small production, uh, half million import, and we expect it around 20, 25% more export potential around 8 million tons in uh, new season but again as i told you previous uh, uh, we need to wait a little bit to to do some uh, real forecast uh, the next slide uh, we are showing the export by month from kazakhstan uh, you see that uh, april may it was uh, quite uh, numbers was really down because of uh, quotas uh, as for the June, we expect that the numbers will be more than uh, last season to finish the, and we expect that the uh, um, supply will be higher because of COVID for sure uh, from the Central Asian uh, countries like Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, uh, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan and uh, Kyrgyzstan. So all in all, it's a uh, if uh, we are coming to the, my last slide, I don't want to attention more time. So in this slide, you can see the main directions uh, of Kazakh wheat. So for sure, uh, traditional markets, uh, the biggest market is Uzbekistan market. Also quite a big one, it's Tajikistan market and Afghanistan. It's uh, three of them, it's uh, covering 80% uh, of export from Kazakhstan. So, and uh, again, like last two, three years, uh, uh, this market this year still very uh, ag aggressively buying from Kazakhstan. And we believe that the new season will be uh, quite a similar uh, uh, situation. So in general, if you are interested, you can see that uh, Uzbekistan is uh, buying around two and a half million tons. Uh, uh, Tajikistan, one and a half million tons and Afghanistan, uh, one and a half million tons. Uh, it's including wheat flour and wheat. In general, that situation, what's going on in Kazakhstan. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, ladies.